in the name of God, my name is Mehdi Kurt Navasti, and in this movie I am explaining about the SQL subquery or inner query or nested query. And uh, as you watched my last movies, uh, I preferred a data environment for the database test data. I opened some uh, related tables and customer or order as a parent customer and employee as a child table and each order related with the order ID with table order items and each order items related with product ID with table a product and we uh, simulate the data environment, select the tables, and make a parent and child relationship here, and the environment is ready to test. And I remember for the SQL commands, there is no need to uh, open the tables or make a relation, and uh, just by select command in SQL, all data will be retrieved according to your condition. Okay, subquery or inner query or nested query is a query in a query. It means the some part of the first query is based on the result of the next query. And again, some part of the of this query is based on the result of the next query and so on. SQL subquery is usually added in the WHERE clause of the SQL statement. Most of the time a subquery is used when you know how to search for value, a value using a select statement. But do not know the exact value in the database. You don't know uh, what value you have to compare. So the, you need to another select command to bring some result and pass the result to the higher level query as a compression statement in a where clause. Subqueries are an alternate way of returning data from multiple tables. Let's see some examples. Select to city to name and to address from table order where lower to city equal to San Paulo. Let's run. Okay. How many records extracted just by clicking as you see 35 records extracted by this query and all to city is San Paulo and we can simulate same query with the visual fight pro commands non SQL visual fight pro commands because Visual Files Pro support SQL commands and it have its own commands also. Select order, table order selected, and set filter to same condition. Set filter to same condition as I use in a where clause. So it makes a filter on table orders and browse last browse the table order with the active with the active filter so let's see the data environment all orders filters to city san paulo and according to this relationship between parents and child 
when I moving the pointer to the parents, the corresponding related child tables will be change the value. For example, for this order, there are two lines with order ID, same order ID. And for each order with product ID, the products appear here. 44 and 44 and if I move here because products is related as a child with order items and again cost ID from order here is the cost ID from order point to the one customer in table customer which same and again, employee ID, here is two, point to the employee table. Okay. Let's see two separate select commands. The first command extracts some records from table orders and the with the same condition and the next query select uh, company name and my order amount from table customer with my order amount in less than uh, 10,000 let's see two query here is the first extracted from table order and 35 records in it so the next let's release the query the next here is the company name from table a customer with much order amount less than 10,000 as you see 33 records appear so I want to combine these two query together set the orders to San Paulo which maximum order amount for the customer be less than 10,000 look at this records from San Paulo but when I move the pointer, look, the max order amount will change. So some of these parent records have maximum order less than 10,000. For example, these three, but here le less than. And some of them are more than. For example, here is not a record in my query range because I use a select a star from table order where ultimate lower to CT equal to San Paulo and lower to name here is a to name means the name of the companies from table orders in in the parentheses, next query, select lower ultimate company from customer where my order less than 10,000. So, first, this query will be run and uh, it, um, prepare some result as a company names. And in the parent query, lower it to name must be in the result of this query and lower city must be San Paulo also let's see here is a query with 13 records and all of these records have to city San Paulo 
and the order amount less than 10,000. Continue to the next comment. How many customers with maximum order amount of less than 10,000? We have this is first question. How many customers with maximum order amount of less than 10,000 we have? That their order be in the Sao Paulo, Sao Paulo and how many orders each of them have? And what is the maximum and minimum and average order net for each of them? So let's see. Select to name and count asterisk and sum order net and minimum order net and much order net and average order net from table order. Where all three mil lower to city equal to San Paulo and lower all three to name in Nestle query. Select lower company from customer where much order less than 10,000. And if I run this query, let's see, only two records appear from table, from table order only two records grouped by grouped by to name so five orders for this customer and eight order for this customer here is the sum mean much and average order net and these two customer names two names these two two names are in the this query it means my order less than 10,000 and I try to three level nested query in the next uh, command the order to San pa Sao Paulo, which maximum order amount for the customer be less than 10,000 and the number of items in each order be greater than 2. As you see, when I move the pointer in the order, some order have 2 items, some order have 3 items one or items some order have more than three items for example five items so here the number of items in each order be greater than two so this order is okay because have four items for example and this order is not okay in this condition because only have one condition, one record. This is not because less than, less than three, uh, only two records. We need greater than two records. So let's see the SQL command together. Select asterisk from orders means all fields from table orders where all three lower to city equal to San Sao Paulo and lower to name in next query select another select lower a company from customer where my order less than 10,000 and and lower id order id in another com another select 
select order id from order item where line number greater than 2 so all records from order ids which line number greater than 2 will be selected with this query again all companies companies name from table customer with maximum order less than 10 token will be select again from uh, by this query and uh, the the final result is combination of three query first ctb sao paulo lower to name in this result and order id in this result let's see only four only four orders extracted with the according to the that query i try to simulate the above query in visual files pro data environment as an approval for the result i'm not sure the last result the last four records uh, are okay or no and i try to simulate same query in visual files pro um, comments so select customer table customer selected Set filter to max order amount less than 10,000. So the table customer, if I browse table customer, only the record with order amount less than 10,000 filter. Here is the first filter in one of the child's customer is one of the types the next select order items set filter to line number equal uh, greater than 2 so let's see order items all order items with line number greater than 2 filtered okay and order items also is another child for table order the next select order as a parent browse last four not in the file customer and not in the file order so browse four works as a select where browse for after four there is a condition the condition here is a not in the file customer and not in the file order item in the file return true if the pointer be at the uh, at the end of file means uh, uh, one record after the last record not in the file means the pointer be in the uh, active records in the table so let's see only with browse four only four records selected i move the pointer from the first let's see line number greater than two line number greater than two line number greater than two all four records the first condition is okay next look the maximum order amount when i move the pointer all records based on some customers whose names in their table customer have much order amount less than 10,000
and same query remember not c1 as the condition 1 and not c2 as the condition 2 equal to not printers c1 or c2 and will change to or so I can write same query here with this condition for not printers in the file customer or in the file order item let's see the result is same the result is same okay let's go to four level nested query limiting more the scope of the above query same query here is a only four records selected but um, I want to uh, filter more only those order that done by Margaret employee look at the first name in table employee here when I move the pointer Laura Laura Margaret Margaret so I want to filter only the uh, orders with employee Margaret let's see select employee and I add another filter to table employee before filter if I browse table employee all employees selected with all names but after filter the filter activate here and only the Margaret with first name record uh, uh, activate so select order as a parent here employee is another child in this data environment and browse last four now I use three not in the file customer and not in the file order items and not in the file or the employee so only two records selected because all conditions is true and again not c1 and not c2 and not c3 equal to not printers c1 or c2 or c3 and the browse the next browse is the same same these two browse command is same because after four condition same and I try to I try to uh, extract same records via the SQL command via the SQL command select asterisk from table orders where ultima lower to city equal to Sao Paulo and next lower to name in next query select lower company from customer where my order amount less than 10,000 and order ID in next query select order ID from table order items where line number greater than 2 and employee ID in again select employee ID from employee where ultimate first name lower first name equal to Margaret and if I run the select same result here is a with the SQL command 
I extract here with SQL command and here is with the Visual Fights Pro command I simulate the result to show how <coughs> we can make sure the return records are correct so you need to maybe you need to watch this movie more than once to uh, internalize the relation how I use the nested queries and in the next movie I'm going to explain about the transactions and rollbacks. Thank you.